Hey guys, and welcome. Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. So previously, we finally got to see Big B's final true form, or at least I think so. We finally got to see him turn into the big bad wolf. And we also, after literally going on a goose hunt the entire episode, we finally found out that Crane was not the person who we thought he was. There's actually a higher power involved in this city in Fable Town that is in charge of whatever the heck is going on, which we really still don't know, but we are now entering episode four. And I truly believe that this episode is going to give us a lot of answers. There have been two brand new characters that got introduced at the end of the last episode. And I do believe that in this episode, we're gonna see a lot more from them or about them. I'm really excited to start off episode four. If you guys want episode five, the grand finale ASAP, just drop it a like. Thank you for being here. Sit back, relax, and let's do this. Point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. We oh my god way, old boy i figured i'd be done before you were conscious but there's little i can do for the pain my arm <laughs> yes very ugly but not life-threatening i can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs <laughs> oh Please, Bigby, don't move. oh fucking <laughs> Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life. Sorry for my discord. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh my goodness. Oh. This is the same thing from The Walking Dead and season two. Holy smokes. Oh. Oh my God, this is so cringe. Ah, oh, dude, I don't even want to look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Big B! Oh, fuck, my Discord keeps on going crazy! Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's I had to tell my people to finished. shut up on Discord because I once watched a vet so a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Hey, listen, please, lady. Please keep it down back there. Thank you. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. There. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. 
And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Damn. Miss White, he'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll try. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Hmm. We're gonna wife her up now? Or when you're dead? Do it now, man. Okay? Just do it now. I'm sorry about that. My friends on Discord were going crazy. So, I had to text them to shut up on Discord. It was coming up on the you, recording. Uh, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Not much worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. Damn, she's full of blood, too. You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. Really? It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... I don't know. It was just... awful. Snow, I'd never leave you. Aw, let's get it. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. <laughs> you look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again, and twice on Sunday. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the Crooked Man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. We would have died. <laughs> snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Exactly. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? Prostitutes. And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. 
But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. <laughs> this town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all move on. I don't know. I don't, I'd rather Look, sometimes not say anything. I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. Oh, okay. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. <laughs> That's you know what a true. pig is? It's not the end of the world. Look. Everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now. What's it gonna be, Bigby? Oof. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, really? she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could really? be? Really? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Maybe she's and finally she gonna probably speak. probably change out of these clothes. Consider yeah. the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, <laughs> she seemed real serious I about I it. Wouldn't do but I can still hang you. out here, right? No. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, oh, Bigby. You chose friendship over the rules. Uh, I don't know if that's good or not. Uh-oh. Whew. I mean, I don't want to be a bad friend, but I also don't want to break the rules. It's like you get put in this predicament sometimes. Like, fuck. <sighs> Anyways. He's finally going to talk. Little Mermaid. She's finally gonna talk. I love it when the intro hits. It's so sick. I fucking love it. Let's 
go. It's all sick. I really hope we get a season two, man. I mean, I don't know how season one ends, but you know, considering The Walking Dead got like five seasons, or was it four? I think it was four. And then like two spinoffs. Anywho, anyways, episode four in sheep's clothing. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huffin' Puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? Hmm. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room at the Pudding and Pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? True. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Where's this going? You can trust me. It's about Faith and Lily. Is this making any sense? I'm not sure how I can... Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? Don't say my lips are what sealed, I'm damn it. Saying is friends matter. And I I don't have any left. Uh-huh. So I hope you're looking after yours. Oh. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but Damn it, just write it. But it's okay. Take your time. My lips are sealed. Let's write it down I'm and draw. Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It was... It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? What if he... Oh... 
Oh. That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? I don't want to just is snatch the ribbon. I can do about it. No, this <gasps> once you're sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. Okay, Get Jesus it. Christ. So the ribbons, if you take them off... Probably snow. Mm. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. What are you worried about? Just please don't say anything. Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, Snow, don't get jealous. John, nothing's happening here. Sorry, I just, uh, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. I, wait, you don't have to go. Bro, like, what is it that she's that hiding? Was abrupt. It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then, good work. Oh shit. So about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night and they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. Bro, that's some crazy magic, bro. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have yep. other matters to attend to. This is getting really interesting. Now I really want to find out what the heck is happening. Funny how we live in the same building. <laughs> and you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on here. I had to get a job and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the prince. Knock, knock. The big bad wolf is here. Oh. What do you want? Oh, well, come on, dude. you're just going around knocking on doors, stirring the pot. I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No, that was. Forget it. What do you want, Bigby? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. 
Must have been beauty. So open She's up the damn door! Surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Who's at the door? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? <laughs> It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Oh, I like the frame. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. Hmm. I don't think we can trust talk him. about living in the Wait past. And then For real, that's a dope you picture. Call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one I can hear you, thing. you know, like... Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle pretty this nice on apartment. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Or anything else? Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. Oh, this guy's Bigby, annoying, man. I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but... I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain... Assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the crooked man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own... No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. <laughs> Look, we're used to a certain kind of... Lifestyle, lifestyle, okay? Yes. We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to Can the we finish this right conversation now, so first? I should get that. We'll get come back on. to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Because next time, I'm making a house I don't know call. who that is. Who is That's that? Bluebeard. The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Isn't it? Is that Bluebeard?
All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Come on, you guys are not under the spell too, so... Just tell me and we'll work it out. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes fables just don't have anywhere else to go. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money you don't have. Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. Oh, but I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You That's wouldn't hilarious. understand, Big B. Beauty and the Beast are in debt. <laughs> no, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Yo, the tension in this game is, is, is real. That's pretty crazy. Whew. So we've got the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. I know if you go to the, the butcher shop. You place. shut up! 
If I go to the butcher shop, you know that butcher I shop. might be able to find more evidence lucky quicker, pond. but That's let's go to the lucky the pond. Money. Let's the go to the lucky pond. I'm going to the lucky pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no! Of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Yeah, now you're being all polite and shit. Stupid beast. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept oh, in it. Oh, look who works in a here. a pile of garbage. Jack, why are Jack. you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, oh, really? Whoa. Bigby's here. Oh. This is a surprise. Why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyways, I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Hey, that is wait Faith. a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you <laughs> left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Oh my god. Yes, I think the off-sited statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. What are you complaining to him for? The witches set their own prices, Toad, and the prices aren't set because of greed. Making a glamour is hard. The materials are rare. Spare me the lesson of new do economics. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not going to take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, <laughs> since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Ogfrey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Shut up. Funny you should mention that, because it's exactly why I'm here. You want a loan? I didn't really think you the type. Well, first, uh, tell me, how does it work? You know, um, I'm sorry, Bigby, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad! He uses fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman, force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude. Hmm. Nobody's complained before. Toad, listen. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Or that Good coat's bigger than you. Glamour, toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. It's just tough. There's a Look, Here. I'll, I'll give you some money, alright? I don't know if we have enough money, to God, be honest. You're kidding me. I'm. Oh, shit. I thought I still had... Uh, Do you even know how much a glamour costs? Oh my god. I've, I've never had to buy one. Cheap your money. You should have taken Crane's money. I freaking knew it. Charity. 
on the last if episode. You're gonna be out like this. Can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting hard <laughs> to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. We're nothing like him. He really grows on you. Look, you, be you better start told talking, you I work Jack. here, and I do, okay? So don't look so surprised. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Because I don't know anything about it. That and Beauty's loan she took out. She told you about that. Yep. And now you're going to tell me about it. Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, Anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man mm. gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. What kind of things does he want in return? Could be anything, from the loan plus interest, family heirlooms, to novelties of a more exotic nature. Like? Magic, memories, parts of you. It's bad. Listen, I gotta start That's just closing the shop, so, uh... Close. It's the middle of the day. What can I say? <laughs> Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh... I'd really rather you not physically be here if he comes back. You know? I still think you're hiding something, Jack. Maybe the axe is back here. It's not. It was bad enough in the woodsman's hands. And if it's not here, I need to track down that psycho who had it last. It's not here. You better hope not. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. Oh, he literally... Oh, he closed the entrance. Okay. Wasn't this in uh, the house we checked on the last episode? What's the anvil for? Blacksmith didn't need it. I haven't seen him around for a while. Isn't this from Crane's apartment? There we go. Maybe. Yep. I don't know. You didn't go back over there and swipe it. I swear. On his life. <sighs> Now it makes sense why he was over there. He was jacking shit to bring her here to buy it. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Yep. Who sold this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so uh, who cares, really? How can you not know who pawned it? I'm not here every day. And even when I am here, people sometimes dump boxes of shit. What does it matter? Well, check your records, man. You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? No. I know how it is. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. The display case. Recent acquisition. What is he doing? I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... <laughs> Jack? Uh, yeah? When was Mary here? Was who here? Bloody Mary. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. And she had it. So she was here. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, 
And even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's oh, all she was you know? here. You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her. Sometimes it's for the crooked man. But I'm smart enough to not ask questions, all right? Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. But you... You're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? <laughs> if you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Gren said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. I think while tempers are running high, we should keep demands to a minimum. It's His voice Jersey, sounds right. Jersey Very devil. Familiar. Christ. And this fucking guy too? Bigby? What is his you... axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? Jersey devil. I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh. He wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. Wait, we're not finished yet. Yes, we are. You work with the Crooked Man. And until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Oh, Jack, shit. did you know that as of this very morning, Big Beast joined the Crooked Man's obedience school for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the crooked man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did uh -oh. you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna- Oh. You piece of shit. I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. I should have waited a little bit more. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park just so I can prove to you that your axe isn't here. And you think I'm gonna take another inch of abuse? Are you out of your fucking mind? Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna ham. Ah! You fucking motherfucker! Oh, motherfucker! Oh, oh, oh! What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. What Not the fuck? Now, dog, you got a lot of nerve. Yo! 
Bigby, relax. You're gonna, you're gonna hurt yourself, bro. We're gonna snap his horns in half. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Oh, fucking shit. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. That useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who was really running this town. Where did you hear it got broken? Oh, that. Gossip flies fast. We're like a sewing circle. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew mm. after the butcher shop. The cut above. And if I can find the mirror piece there, I can, can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh. <laughs> what are you telling me about this? He ain't going anywhere. Will Mary be there? You want me to draw you a picture? I don't fucking know. That was a fast choice you to do. I couldn't even read all of them. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, uh -oh. Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Mm. Out of smoke? I'll give him a smoke. Coronavirus. Okay, different cig nice. cigarettes. Okay, about to say, man. Friend. Everybody mocks his brand of cigarettes. It's You're hilarious. Welcome. 
I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. <laughs> I just saved your life, okay? Woody? You were gonna die. Did you see that monster? Wrong, about what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, go do it then. Turned out to be not that bad. Hey, Woody. Yeah? You gonna be all right? You know me. What happens now? Do we go? Hmm. We still need to know what the heck's going on here, man. Like this, this, this crooked man is pretty much in charge of the entire Fable Town. But what, what is he really, really doing? The butcher shop. No smoke. <laughs> keep smoking. Stop smoking. Yeah, that would be stupid for me to keep smoking. Why would I want to? It's not like it gives me any benefits. Not like I want to kill Bigby either. Not a whole lot of drinks. Lemon lime. Man, I haven't seen one of these uh, the ticker reel machines huh. Empty. in a while. Either he's got a whole lot of customers or he doesn't have any. Hmm. Right. Man, no need to get a ticket. There's literally nobody here. Should probably ring the bell first, just in case. Well, hello Baby there. Wolf? What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um. What? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I'll bet you get lucky there. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's why they call it. Uh, I've been there. The Didn't find mind. what I was looking for. Had some dogs. words with Jersey, too. Words? Anyway, if, if I'd have known you already looked at the Lucky Pawn, I, I, I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. And I certainly don't mean to offend. I don't know how else to help. <laughs> Where's the magic mirror shard? Quit fucking around and tell me. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. Listen, Crane had the mirror. Mary had Crane. And she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Oh, he fucking pressed the button. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Oh, we're going over. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at Anti Greenleafs. Hmm. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Hey, should we go over the counter? This guy just pressed the button there. 
first and foremost, we're gonna check the box. You pressed that Shit. button. Yeah, he did. The butchered shop. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. This is going to be interesting. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. I'm sorry, Probably Sheriff, shouldn't have said but anything. I'm supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Bro, what is happening here? Come on, damn it. I'm not gonna say anything. We probably shouldn't. I'm just gonna keep on walking. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. What are you hiding behind that door? Huh? Huh? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. But it's a hard one to live with. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. Well, who locked the fucking door? I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I, I don't know who or, or, or what goes on back there. Crew? This guy's the just a puppet. It's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. I'm, I'm a lot of talk. I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would be the... Shh. Hmm. Here we go. I mean, if he doesn't know what's in there, why is he covering it up? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Yo, those are handcuffs tied to what the fuck? What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? Hmm. It hasn't been easy for me. 
You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something, if I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying. Those lights are the button he pressed in the front. So it gave him a signal to run. And that's, that's probably why they left up to the top. So this is what this was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Wow. Would be dangerous stuff. This is fucking nutty, dude. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. brand. <laughs> it's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and do I really need to explain this uh I actually think you do because there's something going on here then I don't really like it Let's see what the heck what are they making here I'm just a butcher you want to talk t-bones <laughs> that I can do this stuff is out of my league tongue there of dog of nasty Jesus. spells you can make with the right equipment a lot of stuff. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons. Chains. It's it's all the fucking same. This is probably where they chop off their head. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please. Uh, I'm a detective, sir. I can do whatever I want to. Let me just make sure there's nothing else here. Let's go to the chalk board. Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. secret chalkboard oh oh what the hell is that big b be careful be careful now bro i know this isn't your coat what's it doing here it's a coat What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Cranes. It's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He took his money. Fucking dude, I'm taking the money. Anymore. I'm taking the fucking money, dude. I didn't take it last time. I'm taking it. Everything I see, it's my that sick piece of. Yeah, you fucking weirdo. This is probably the worst time I could have taken it because I'm actually like somebody's actually watching me versus the last two times nobody was. But I'm a rebel. I like to live life. Oh, it's the shard. Finally. Wait, he had hey, it. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Big B. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. I hope... I hope these, uh, decisions don't bite us in the butt later on, because we've pretty much have been telling all the characters the same thing that we're going to protect them. So. Dude, I wish we would have gone up the ladder and see where the heck they went. Because there was somebody there that would have left. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If 
Crane was helping himself to the community coffers. It means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've I been still gone don't all trust uh, this guy, what did you Bluebeard, or whatever his name is. I thought is. you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door, once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? A puzzle, you say? That would be nice. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why'd you put the hurt on Flycatcher? Were you hiding something down at the Tweedles? Or was it just for fun? He worked for them, didn't he? I couldn't be sure that he wasn't involved. And I didn't want him interfering. I was simply endeavoring to make the search a speedy one. Surely you, of all people, can't fault me for getting overzealous in the process. I don't buy it. Hmm. I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. Mary so this Crane process can be a little touchy. It helps Mary that I have a good working relationship it. with the mirror. I no. found it in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Okay, that's fine. Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? Oh, Bloody Mary! <laughs> well, I think I'm the how mirror. to proceed now. It will just well, you say her uh, coaxing. That's all. Thank you for your help. Oh, that's hilarious. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Yeah, because I can't really say Bloody Mary. He might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. That's funny. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. Oh, God. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Oh, shit. I feel bad, man. Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. Now that we're not in his shop, what more do you know about the Crooked Man? Don't try to change a subject on me. <laughs> I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. 
Ah, oh, shit. What's the other option? Oh, needy. I'll talk to Snow about it. Do I give him the money or do we send him back to the farm? I feel bad because he's got a kid and stuff. So if we send him, we got to send his kid. I I'm just going to give him the money. Big Fuck it. <sighs> Hopefully Here. Snow doesn't Crane fucking get mad. Any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamoured, Toad. Got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. Well, he's happy. <laughs> Bluebeer, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. Well, yeah, I paid him. <sighs> I Fine. paid him. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? What could those girls have done? If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. Snow, I know you've got your reasons, but he's not our top concern right now. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, wow. I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What the hell? What just happened we pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at bloody mary's reflection oh her that explains the sting i'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings so let's not do that again okay looks like we'll have to track him down later you're right wow we need to focus on the immediate threat and that's the crook i thought she was gonna break the freaking mirror Bigby, we don't have a lot of time are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? <laughs> I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. Oh, it's moving. The door, it moves. What'd I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street oh. justice. I know that emotions So we're going to see him now in this episode? You have your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. 
If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. I had to tell her, I don't know if it's going to be good or bad just because I don't want to set, set the expectation and then kind of mess it all up or whatnot. Wow. You better go in now. That's it, all right. Question is, how do we get out of here now? Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call, so thanks for not giving me a hard time. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street, but you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way, Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get in trouble. Fine, lead on. Hmm. Interesting. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. <laughs> I thought it was a joke, actually. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Thanks. This is interesting. Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing. Oh, yeah? Tell me who the Mate, fuck is back I there. I scared of you. I, so I don't exactly I know. I, I just mind the door. You needn't worry. The boss is there. He'll come around. I know that much. I might cream before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed, skinned, and made into a rug for me to wipe his shoes off. He's right. He was fine when Crane was smoothing things over, but this guy off his leash is a whole other barrel of crap that I don't want to deal with. So that's it then. Let's zip the dog. That won't be necessary. Okay. Sheriff Wolf, sir. 
Whoa. They're all here. Look at this Thank dude. You, I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Oh, he looks crazy weird. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. This is not good. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Got me here. Let's talk. What a cliffhanger, dude. Oh my goodness. 285% of players decided Colin should not go to the farm. 63 players uh, did not try to remove the ribbon, obviously. You win 36 of players went to the lucky pond first. Uh, you and 73% of the players decided to toad should not go to the farm and 41% of players agreed to talk with him first. Ouch. I don't know if that was good or not. If you just take him, like, I mean, why not talk and get info from him and then they just take him? I thought it was just going to keep on going. I didn't think the episode was going to end right there. Well, there it is. That's the option we chose. I guess we'll see what happens in episode five, the grand finale. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop it a like. And man, that was great. <laughs> I'll catch you later.